G'day, how you going? Steve from I'm Enough Coaching, jumping on to share a perspective with you. Now, does a tree only ever grow to half of its potential? Does a bird only ever fly to half of its potential? No, it doesn't. Why not? Because a tree doesn't have choice. A bird doesn't have choice. Anything else in nature doesn't have choice. But as human beings, we have choice. And that's what I want to focus on today. Are we choosing to go all in? Are we choosing, like these trees behind me here, to be able to grow to our very highest potential? To be able to produce as many leaves as possible? To be able to grow as many branches as possible? Because this is what often holds us back. Choice. Now I want to share with you this morning something that happened to me just at the gym just now, which was around choice, and it was around my mindset. And it was really quite funny because my trainer, Pete, he turned around to me and he says, right, okay, we're gonna do some crunches. And that's where you lay on the floor and you put your hands on your forehead and you bring your knees up and you bend and try to get your elbows to hit your knees. Now, in the military, what we do is we do cross crunches, which is where we, this elbow has to hit, my right elbow has to hit my left knee and my left elbow has to hit my right knee. So you get a twist in the crunch. Now, I, I used to hate these in the military, absolutely hate them. And <clears throat> when Pete said to me, we're gonna do some crunches, I automatically thought that's what he meant. And I lay down on the mat to do them. And I took three attempts <laughs> at getting started. But my brain was going, no, you don't wanna do these, these really hurt, these will kill you. <laughs> and my choice at the time was, I don't wanna do these. And when Pete start, saw me starting to make the maneuver to do the, the twist, he was like, no, we're just doing ordinary crunches, mate. Just elbows to knees. And that changed my mindset. So, you know, if I was on my own, if I hadn't had my personal trainer there with me, I would have chosen not to do them. I would have gone off to find something else. And this is where we can start to recognize how our choices can either empower us or hold us back. So, that's what I wanted to share with you. I just wanted to prick your conscious awareness and ask you, are you like these trees? Are you trying to grow to your best potential? Are you picking up the books? Are you doing some extra study? Are you tuning into yourself? Are you thinking about what your next best move is? Are you taking control? Are you taking full responsibility for your life? Are you doing what you do, are doing today because of the choices that you made yesterday, the week ago, a month ago, a year ago? Because this is how we start to live our life with purpose, through making the best choices we can. And that sometimes means pushing ourselves. It means going outside of our comfort zone. It means about doing the extra yards. It means engaging ourselves and promising ourselves that we're gonna do it. And this is where then we get discipline. Because discipline is the energy to do something that you don't particularly want to do. It's something that we then form into a habit and it actually becomes easy. But a discipline is doing it the first time the second time, the third time, the fourth time, until eventually it becomes a matter of habit and we're just like, hey, do you know what, woo, I'm smashing it. And again, I can take that back to the gym. You know, I, I always struggled with my fitness, especially when I was in the military. But I had a why there because if I didn't stay fit, I got kicked out of the Air Force. Whereas once I left the military and I came into the civil sector, there was nobody there to hold me accountable, except for myself. So I chose not to. But you know what? I paid the price down the line. My body started to become stiff. My muscles started to become sore. I couldn't even walk down the road without getting out of breath. I remember I was jumping across some rocks going to look at some big waves crashing and I twanged my back. I twanged my back when I went surfing. So all of these were little indicators that I needed to get back into going to the gym. So I did. I decided to get a gym membership. Guess what? That didn't work. But then I, I stumbled across Pete, my trainer, and I decided to invest in myself. I decided to pay for a personal trainer. Now, I go twice a week. And on a, on a Friday morning, get this, I'm up at 5.30 in the morning to go to the gym. And I've been doing this now for over two years. 5.30, 5.30 in the fucking morning? Are you kidding me? I would have never ever got up. But that personal discipline, the discipline to be able to get up over and over and over again until it became a habit. And I still sometimes check myself and go, wow, you're up at 5.30, mate, and you're going to the gym. What's wrong with you? So this is what I mean. It's about our choices because our choices will either empower our future 
or disempower our future. And it's down to you and me to be able to make those choices. I can't make the choices for you. Only you can do that. Only we can change ourselves. So look, I hope this helps. I hope this inspires you. I hope that you suddenly start to think, do you know what, let me see. I'm gonna grow as big as this tree. I'm gonna grow as far as I can. I'm gonna do everything I possibly can. And I'm gonna do it to the very best of my ability. I'm gonna strive for excellence in everything that I do. The moment you make that promise to yourself and the moment you follow through on that is the moment you really start to take responsibility for not only the moment of now, but your future. And that is something that you're gonna thank yourself for later on. All right, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on this. So wherever you are in the world, whatever you're up to, until we chat again, take care and stay safe. Terry.